Hello, this is Janae. This video is going to be a little different. Someone wrote in to tell me their story. Um, so I'll just get right into it. The person said, <clears throat> I chose not to disclose my name, but I'm in my 20s. I don't share my story with anyone, but I've watched the videos that Janae has created and shared, and I chose to share my story through her. I grew up in many houses that were never homes to me. I was surrounded by people who had no good intentions for me. The first time that I was raped, I was too young to remember details. There was pain and there was blood. What I do remember is being five years old and accidentally spilled something. My foster mom grabbed me from the table and threw me on the floor. I started crying and she started hitting me over and over. That wasn't enough to make up for a spilled drink. She grabbed me f by my leg and dragged me down the hallway to her room. Her boyfriend was in her room and he immediately took his belt off and snatched my clothes off. I was so scared and I just hoped so hard that somebody would make it stop. He beat me and she watched. He raped me and she watched. I cried so hard, but it didn't stop it. I started saying I'm sorry, but it didn't stop. I was saying I was sorry to the person that was raping me. Imagine that. When he was done, she picked me up and took me to the basement door where she threw me down the steps and left me there. It was dark, cold, lonely, and scary. They starved me on and off for months, left me in my filth and brought me upstairs to use my body, my five-year-old body. I didn't mention earlier, but I was a little boy who's now a man. This is just one of my stories wow um that's the like to go through that at a very young age and someone that supposed to take you in to love you and to to nourish you and just to be be the parent that you don't of course you don't have a parent because you're in a foster in a foster home and that's it's hard for anyone to go through it but to go through that at five years old, that's, that's, I know that's hard. And like, I can't even get the words together. Like, why would anyone want to hurt a child, period? But not only do you hurt them, you rape them and you abuse them and you starve them and treat them so bad for nothing. Like they, he, of course he didn't do anything to deserve that. No child does, or any adult, doesn't matter who you are. I just want to thank you for sharing your story through me. And that's what I want to do is to help people to tell their stories. It doesn't matter if you're telling it yourself or if you would like me to do it. It's just, it's hard for us as adults to deal with things, but let alone a child to deal with it. And you said that that um, this was one of many stories of you being abused and hurt. So that means that it's gone on for for maybe years and being five and being abused. You were strong then, and to tell your story doesn't matter how you told it. You told it through me. You're strong now, and and that's very brave of you to do. I just don't understand how people can hurt anyone but kids. You not only hurt them, you you rape them, beat them. That that's that's torture. Like did you just get this child just to abuse for your you know, just to have him like, oh well, I can just throw him away whenever I want to, just put him in the basement. That's that's not cool. Like I, I don't under, I don't understand. I, I think I will never understand how someone can be so evil, so heartless. You have to be a heartless person to abuse a child, anyone, but especially a child. You're supposed to love a child, care for a child, just be there. He's already missing his parents don't have parents and the system is supposed to place kids where they're safe but 
they really don't care either in, in a sense because they put you in homes and you end up being abused and most of the time no one pays attention no one pays attention to you they don't come and check on i'm pretty sure some i don't know how it is everywhere but i'm pretty sure they neglect the kids that that are you know being fostered and it's it's, it's sad how how that works how the system works Someone gives up their child because they feel like they can't take care of the kid. And they're giving the child up so they can have a better life and to be happy because they feel like they can't they can't do that. And then they they're put in a home where they're abused and tortured and no one knows about it. And of course, stuck in a basement. Like you put a kid in a basement to suffer, to like, imagine, just imagine that. He's five, scared, don't know what he did wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. But that, him spilling a drink was his punishment for all of that. Like all of that beat, rape, and thrown down stairs in the basement for a spilled drink. If this is one of many of his stories. So imagine everything else that he's been through. And people, I feel like, how am I say this? Sometimes I feel like people know that it can happen to anybody, of course, but when it happens to a boy or even a, like a teenager or a man, they look at it so differently, and I don't understand why. They're still being hurt, just like anybody else. Like, that's hurtful in itself, but you're getting your your boyhood taken from you, your manhood. It doesn't. It, it's it's every aspect of it is is wrong, boy or girl, man or woman. It's just I don't see how. People can live with themselves doing that to anyone but a child that didn't do anything, even if the child did, spilled a drink. Like, that justified you hurting him. And I, I just don't understand why we have so many evil people out here in this world harming kids, harming adults. It's it's sad, but then you have the system that fails the kids when they're placed in foster homes. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to check on the child and and make sure that everything's fine. And most of the time, people just get kids. Not I'm not saying it like this to anyone that's fostering kids, but sometimes they get the kids just to for the money. And to just abuse them and to do whatever else. It's sad, but this is the world that we live in. And I'm glad I could be his voice to tell his story. And if anyone any, anyone else want me to tell their story, I'm willing. You could be anonymous or you could tell your name if you want to. And just thank you so much for for sharing your story through me